the next one is let me get to it real quick I just uh, okay the next one is silly soft DVD creator and uh, all right well let me tell you the pros and cons the pros of this one is that it's a really easy interface to use it's really not as hard as iDVD and it actually burns the movie for me in about 40 minutes so that's a lot quicker than than I do the bad thing is that you can't really customize it that much and on some movies uh, the video is the quality is not as good as it would be in iDVD so that's like the only bad thing about this one so the way to use this one is all you gotta go do is go to add video and then you also look for it. I'll do the same movie and then you just open. For this one, you gotta be before you gotta change the name before you import the movie because you can't do it from here. So this is a really basic interface. You could go to preferences and then video. And then you can change everything here. You can change the format, aspect ratio, the video quality. You can either skip the menu and here you go to add the chapter so you can put it on whatever you want. It does it automatically for every movie after you do it. This here is the menu and um, the menus for these movies aren't nearly as good as iDVD because there really is absolutely nothing to it. This is the menus right here these things that you honestly you will never use the usually you just use the sign it or the sky one because they're the most simple ones but honestly I never use anything then you can go to edit and uh, you can change the background music or change the background picture and that's actually pretty much all you can do for this then you can change the name of the DVD and uh, honestly that's pretty much all the features that so far I know that you could do with silly soft dvd creator then you just click on this right here and um it's gonna tell you it's gonna tell you if yeah if if you haven't inserted the disc to insert it now or you can just not in insert the disc till the end so like you click yes and then it's gonna start creating the dvd and then it's gonna stop when there's like 90 when there's five percent left and it's gonna tell you to put the dvd in and that's when it's gonna start uh, burning it so it's pretty easy I like that too that you don't have to put DVD in from the beginning you can just do this and like I said this one only takes about 40 to an hour depending on how long is the movie so it's a lot quicker than iDVD and um, that's pretty much it for these two if you have any questions uh, send me a message and I'll answer it right away and uh, don't forget to subscribe thanks